Welcome back to IndianTimesDaily.com and the top 10 headlines from Canada are Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has urged Canadians to reach out to their neighbours as they celebrate the holidays. Trudeau, in his annual Christmas address to the nation, said that Canadians showed strength in diversity in 2017 as they celebrated the 150th anniversary of Confederation. The well-known Toronto pastor who superintended Canada's first legally recognized same-sex marriages has retired. Reverend Brent Hawkes served as senior pastor at the Metropolitan Community Church of Toronto for more than 40 years. Hawkes is also known for officiating Jack Layton's state funeral in 2011. Marijuana consumers are likely to have a flood of options when pot becomes legal next summer. The National Institute for Cannabis Health and Education has said that its Cannabis Y certification will test businesses on quality and safety guidelines to help determining which products to trust. At least 74 people were killed and over 50,000 displaced after tropical storm Tembin pounded southern Philippines. Port authorities have said that over 6,000 passengers were stranded in various ports across the groups of islands as 21 flights have been cancelled at the Manila International Airport. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said that Russia did not and would not seek confrontation with any other country. Putin assured that Russia will continue to pursue an open and honest foreign policy with all countries on the principles of trust and equality. The Sobe's grocery chain is pulling romaine lettuce products from its shelves. The Public Health Agency of Canada has advised people in eastern Canada to consider avoiding romaine lettuce because of an E. coli outbreak that has been linked to one death and 40 illnesses. Wolverine fans are hoping for a statue to be built as a tribute to the Alberta city's resiliency. Resident Brian LaBelle started a petition for the statue as a way to revitalize the downtown as it could help draw visitors to the northern city. China's first indigenous amphibious aircraft has completed its maiden flight after taking off from the coastal city of the disputed South China Sea. China is engaged in the military build-up and the successful flight by the aircraft will add to Beijing's strength as it grows assertive in its territorial claims. Dubai has launched a trial run of the region's first electric hydrogen-powered vehicle as the RTA continues to look for alternative fuel options as part of its sustainable transport strategy. The zero-emission car can run up to 500 kilometers on a single refuel and is noiseless. An INEC activist from Labrador who struggled with acute liver failure sparkled a national discussion about an Ontario transplant policy is being released from hospital. Delilah Saunders has been discharged from Toronto General Hospital's transplant unit and is returning for the next few months while she recovers. This is the end of News Bulletin, but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo-Canadian businesses and resources. From accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day.